Hello everybody. I hope you can hear me okay. I know those videos are usually quite... Uh, the volume is uh, not high enough, but yeah, I cranked it a little bit, so we'll see. So I promised, um, or I said that I'll try uh, to show you how I'm making uh, some of the EVA parts. So we'll try to make a, um, a simple Nova face for EVA. Uh, today we'll see how it's go how it will go it will probably be painful to watch but for those who are interested in in in, in making those parts and contributing then maybe you'll get something out of it uh, okay so how I usually do it if we're talking about a, a face part so the thing that goes on to the uh, oh yeah and I'm going to leave my face uh, here only because uh, I'm going to wave my hands probably so um, for that added context it might be useful and I added this this thingy over here that should show the uh, button presses that I'm going to do so I don't have to mention those because I probably won't um, I will forget uh, so yeah uh, the part that that the face part that goes on to the universal front part of Eva we're going to try to make it for Nova. This is probably not going to be the proper way of doing it. The professional way of doing CAD work, you know, and it probably won't be a usable Nova, but I will, hopefully, I will be able to show you the principles behind it, how to do it, how to use um, on shape uh, in context part editing. So, um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Um, how it goes and I'm looking at myself when I'm talking to you because I'm on the screen so yeah let's assume you're here uh, okay so the first thing is that you take your horrent that you want you look for a step file for it for Nova you need to register uh, on their page and you get access to the step file which I have over here um, you import it um, from your documents view create import and you import the step file uh, works good don't import the stls because that's mesh that doesn't work too well uh, when you import uh, a step file you get something like that there's usually depends on how the step file is made but usually those are parts nova was done great so uh, parts were here i usually uh, edit the appearance of it uh, over here yeah edit the appearance of parts for later maybe blender rendering it just i need to i need for it to be a, um, uh, eye candy from the start so it's i have more um will to work on it if it looks good from the start so yeah like heat sink uh i make them uh, i apply colors to them uh, clean out those parts if needed like over here this was I don't know if it was, it was an import uh, error or something but those cogs over here were not imported correctly so I fixed that over here then you make an assembly and within the assembly the assembly was correctly oriented everything was okay but if you uh, but if it's not grouped it will be loose and it will fly around uh, loose when you try to move it in your uh, eva assembly so what you want to do at least is to uh, take all of the parts and group them uh, over here so now they will all uh, it's like a fast and dirty method to um, fasten everything together so yeah so this is the nova hotend now i can make a version of it i already have it so i won't make it and now that I have a version, I can go to my uh, Eva Nova uh, document and I can start inserting things. So from uh, insert other documents, I can take my Nova, changes were made, but I don't care. Here it is. I also need a fan. Let's take this one. Those are fans that I made 
uh, for those assemblies in a separate document you can use those those are or pu public and we need the universal face for eva the empty one this one okay so this is the starting point so let's see where the origin is over here okay i will fix the front plate uh, kids are back from a walk with wife is going to be uh, sorry for any background noise if you'll hear anything i'm going to fix that uh, so it doesn't move um, and now you can see that the uh, universal assembly universal phase assembly has those mate connectors those are one of them is um, is the uh, this one is the connector that will that defines where the back of the fan needs to be per spec let's say and this one shows you where the tip of the nozzle should be those are named yeah so we take our nova and we mate it with the tip of the nozzle like so and we take the back of the fan and mate it with the with this mate this is obviously too high so what we want to do is to offset it in y and i know already that those will be 11 millimeters like so and this is almost okay wouldn't matter um so yeah that's already uh that is already a lot done and a lot of uh a lot of is defined already um, you can see where your how much space you have for your face part so now to do the actual face part you can do something that is quite useful I will hide those two because we don't need those anymore and let's add ourselves a mate connector on the cent center of Nova here it is and with that connector over here we can set make that as an origin of our part studio of our new part studio over here what this gives us is the ability to make a part in context of that assembly so now i have it all over here and i can start making my my part so sketch and let's start with i don't know making a shape that will grab uh, that we will attach the nova to so i will use or infusion i think it's called project that may be a better term for it i will project this uh, edge or face to an edge over here then I will do I will reuse those faces and and then we will go and make this for the shape like I said I don't know if it's this is going to be the final face but uh, but maybe maybe it will end up being something okay so now we can probably extrude all that up to the back face of the fan like so and we have a mounting point this is going to be difficult this fan is way too big 40 millimeter fan is way too big for Nova, but we'll see in practice how it will if half of the fan is enough to cool it. Um, okay, so now we need a mounting point and the inlet for 
and the inlet for uh, the filament. So let me make another sketch over here. I will add my part and reuse the holes that are defined already over here. Boom. No measurements needed. But for the sake of it, yeah, 17 millimeters. Everything checks out. I was checking the measurements over over here. If it would be odd, I would be I would start looking for import errors. But okay, I have my uh, holes projected. This is 2.7, so probably it's going to be mounted with two and a half uh, M two and a half screws. Uh, so we need to make holes for for those. Um, so two and a half would be. Uh, I always add O3 uh, for an FFF uh, hole. Uh, so 2.8. This guy is six, so we need the we need the Bowden tube to the PTFE tube uh, from the drive to the Hodent to be grabbed in X Y over here. So we're going to make as much of a hole as we need over here, and I don't remember the measurement, so I'm going to check check on mosquito. It is. Four thirty-five. Okay, so let's do four thirty-five and another hole over here. You can see I'm grabbing. I'm making sure it does uh, grab the um, the circle to start from the point that's marked in yellow over here, and I will make it equal to this size with E. Okay, so now let's extrude those holes like so. And this is already an issue over here because it will intersect the screw that goes over here. Um, so now we have two options. Either we use a short screw that will start way back here, or we do rotate the heatsink. So let's rotate the heatsink for the sake of this. Uh, let me insert this part already. And let's rotate our nozzle offset to rotate, I don't know, 45 Ooh, around Z. Let's try that. So now I get to right click, update context, and those holes will be projected to the context that this assembly provides. Let's get back to it. And now it's, yeah, now there's no intersection. Okay. Um, next, we don't want to have to force this uh, PTFE tube uh, through this whole uh, path, so let's widen it over here, let's say eight. And we have in total, this part is thick, 18 millimeters. So let's remove 10 millimeters of it. So we have over eight to grab over here. And in case we're going to have to print it like this, which might be on this face, which might be the case, this won't print, right? So we either make a sacrificial hole or we add a chamfer. Now with a 45 degree cham chamfer, it should uh, print with no problem, even on O3 uh, layer height. Okay, now the difficult part is 
which would be mounting the fan over here. Oh no, let's add, uh, let's see, get rid of the fan for a moment. We do have the face part is thick, eight millimeters thick. Uh, and we want to use standard screws, so let's say 25 millimeters. What is being used for mosquito? This is a 25 millimeter, yeah. Let's try to make the bomb uh, simpler. So 25. Mm. For an M3 hole, for an M3 screw, cap head screw, we want to give at least 5.6 um, millimeters uh, diameter for the head, for the cap head of the screw. Um, 5.8, like 5.6 is the minimum. It will most likely uh, be uh, a little bit too tight. 5.8 is um, enough. 6 is okay, I guess. So let's try 5.8. And let's make another one, E for equal over here and you could you could use the hole feature which is probably a better idea uh, of on shape uh, than those are pro properly marked on drawings and and stuff like that i just find it um, faster to do it this way so this is how i'm doing it but it's again probably not the proper way so now i need to remove uh, as much of this material for me to be able to have 25 plus 8 over here so it's um, yeah I need three millimeters more so now when I go back to my context I do have from here to here I have 25 uh, oh you cannot see that okay from here to here I have 25 millimeters. Let's see if it will stay here. Which means that 25 millimeter screw will grab it easily with some space even over here. Okay, so a Nova should be mountable on an Eva right now. That is going to be a chunky part. I can try to fin it down later on. Um, okay, so now the difficult part, now the fan part. Let's make a sketch on this face and mark ourselves where the center of it is with construction lines. When I hit Q, I just change, I toggle between construction lines and um, non construction lines. I can find the middle of it. It's here. And now I can make myself the base for the fan, which we know is 40, 40. Okay. We will need those not to be construction lines for it to extrude. Um, this and this, not construction lines, deselect and use this one and use this one. And the hole itself we'll figure out in a moment. So for now I just want the base to be, I don't know, eight. Let's try seven and then we'll add later. Okay, so there we have it. We are already hmm. yeah. Now we sit and think, and that would usually take like three hours. This is also incorrect over here. Why did it project this? Well, 
I'll figure it out later. Um, and now let's add more. 15. Because we don't want all that air to escape too fast. So let's do this. We need to get the hole back. So extrude this again. Probably should extrude those later. Um, not to do this, what I'm doing right now, but this is a quick and dirty. Yeah, let's do it the proper way. So this thing is supposed to, all this is supposed to happen later on. And extrude it both ways so that it also removes the top over here and same goes for here. Okay, now it repeated. I hope you can see what I did. I just moved um, the, the extrusion of those holes after this block is made. All right. So now we need to, for the Nova, not to intersect the, the front part. So it's diameter is 22, which on an FFF printer will not be 22. You need to add more. So we have our uh, center right here. And from it, we can do 22 and two. That's why I need to have those in my hand to be able to, you know, physically check how it prints. Um, let's extrude that up to face. You don't want to measure all that. You don't want to check how much, how many millimeters are from here to here, because if that changes, it won't recreate. You will have to go back and recreate all that. So it's better to, well, probably not always, but you can usually get away with extruding up to a face because it doesn't matter how many millimeters you need to extrude over here. It does matter to be extruded up to here. Uh, so well, you need to think in those terms and then it's going to be easier to maintain those documents that you make. Okay, so now the Nova should fit, but it's going to be hot as hell, uh, and your PLA will clog in it. So we need to figure out an air path for all this air from this fan to go in. What I'm looking at right now, Mosquito was difficult on its own, uh, on V6, uh, I just did it like you take this face and it's like inlet shape, made an inlet, and I just revolved it over here to make the uh, to make a nice shape for the air to follow to go in over here. It's going to be one of the more difficult ones, but I think we could get away with, we could get away with doing a, like a semi-circle extrusion or revol revolution uh, over here. So let's do this. Let's start with this face over here. Project ourselves this from the top view. And let's also figure out where the Nova is over here. Okay, so we want it to, for the air to go from here to wrap around nicely and go here. So let's try that. Um, the inlet of the fan is 38. 
so it's going to be from here to here 38.2 I, I guess and there was half of that and the same over here this I want to be equal with this and now I have the edges of my inlet so now we can try and make the spline but those are difficult to to measure let's do a circle make it intersect with this point and also hmm, now it is going to be a spline so let's see quick and dirty I don't really know what I'm doing right now but I hope you get the point you don't want sharp edges anywhere over here for the air to wrap around This will go in straight. Yeah, let's let's try this for the sake of experiment. Someone smart would have to go and you know um, do all the CFD simulations. You can do that with this later on in SimScale. Teaching Tech had a has a, a video about how to do it from onship to sim sim flow. Sim scale? I don't know, one of the two. Uh, you can use that to check if the air is not ex escaping, but even if you do the simulation properly, what does it tell you? I guess it does tell you a lot if you're not cooling your bed, for example, with your hot and fan, that happens um, sometimes. Uh, but yeah, and you can look for turbulences over here. But yeah, whatever. Right now I can only guess if it's okay or not so I just avoid sharp edges that's the extent of my knowledge when it comes to computational fluid dynamics if I said it right okay so we want this and this and I will mirror it over here and now it's like a little, it got a little bit, uh, the area defined over here got a little bit grayed out. It's, you can probably hardly see this has a lighter color than this part because it's a closed mm, like shape. And because it's a closed shape, I shouldn't even mirror it. Uh, we just want it like that. And then because it's a closed shape, I can extrude or revolve it. And I want to revolve it around this axis. Remo remove. And we have our inlet. But we don't want a full revolve because it doesn't matter over here. There is no uh, heat sink over here to cool. So I guess we're going to do one direction, the other direction and 180 there's so much air wasted over here it's painful two directions 180 and yeah we'll see we'll try that so 180 and 210 not 210 200 trying to make it symmetrical but I having troubles calculating it in my head 210 yeah yeah and we lost this melting point over here so now let's try one direction and 180 
and we'll probably fill it all that out. to see how it'll behave not to do anything harmful to the airflow over here because if it's going to hit that wall over here it's probably going to make uh, cause issues um, this edge want to fillet that out let's just leave it like so this is not how it's going to to end up being i am going to make like a channel for this air from here to escape and go down here like i did on the other ones or i tried at least uh, like i think i did it on mosquito has one like that yeah we're going to make this and we are also going to make it like on dragon yeah Dragon also has it, trying not to waste that air, but to push it around uh, down there. This probably is going to be the the solution over there. But it's a lot of um, a lot of frantic little steps over here, which are going to be way too boring of me guessing how to make it right now. Um, so when this is done, you want to uh, add the probe mounts over here and this extruded the wrong thing that's why it has all those things over here it grabbed points from this I don't want that I want it to extrude the this thing is bothering me Oh well. Mm, okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, lost uh, my. What did I just do? Lost my train of thought. Derailed. And all other f train related things. Uh, okay, but. Uh, pro points. Uh, we want to see. I don't remember what's the. What are the um, coordinates, I guess, for it? So let's see from uh, from this point to this point, we have 15 in Y and 31, 1 in Thirty one one in Z because you want those to be in the same coordinates um, on every face uh, for the swap to be easier, not to be forced to readjust your Z offsets too much. So, okay, we can project that over here. So, I measured from this point on the other one and now I want to make myself a hole and like we said it's in Z it's this much and in Y it was 15 and here's the point for it and it's an M3 hole so it has to be 3.3 and I do remember that it's 8 millimeters up from the bottom one and we want them equal. Okay. Extrude that to make the probe points. And now the question is yeah, this usually intersects over here, so we cannot have the nut over here. have it we need to have it further down or closer because the screws might intersect over here we need to check after print 
how it will behave. So what I what I like to do over here is to make a plane offset from this face, like let's see three. So remove the context, um, like three, and then on this plane I can make a sketch. Uh, Shift S, sketch on this plane. Project my holes and make the hex nut traps over here. It's important where is the if you want the um, in which orientations you want the hex nut to be. It depends on how you want to print it. Uh, sometimes sometimes there's not enough space to put it uh, the other way around so it's either this or that so the uh, flat face is up or the flies face uh, flies flat, flat faces are sideways um, let's try this this we want to be like that and a m3 hex nut is 5.6 and we want to extrude that. Like 20. Okay. And now you can see what mess we have here. The nut would bite into uh, this screw. So the plane cannot be 3 millimeters offset. It has to be more. 6. And now there's the only danger is that those two screws will intersect. And you'll have more people complaining that it's hard to put the nut over here. And keep it there when you're screwing in the probe. So this one has a lot of uh, space over here to sit in. You may want to put two planes and put this one uh, back to 3 millimeters offset from this face again it depends so now you have a um, buttload of uh, sharp edges over here you can chamfer those or fillet those like so yeah this is dangerous this can wrap the air dangerously over here so let's not do that or do less of that But generally, you want to get rid of those sharp edges over here. And you might not always be able to, because on shape won't allow you. So it is a little bit of, I usually am fiddling around with all this a lot and see what's the best shape I can achieve by guessing, really over here so let's try this and let's try a small fillet over here yeah we'll need to see how it looks and i don't like those two nope that's not helping That is not helping at all. We'll see. Mm, this is ugly as hell. Uh, all right. So once that's figured out and this is figured out, we would go and let's see what else. Um, yeah, you cannot forget about those hex holes over here singles here make them it will try to be tangent to the other one ignore that it's just mirror Okay, five, six, and it does not have specified 
it does not specify the orientation of the uh, nuts so let's do let's tell this this face to be vertical and it will set them all because they mirrored and related to one another with those constraints um, okay remove whatever you feel you need to remove to for the screw lengths to be uh, appropriate and then remove the other way as well second end position to get rid of this uh, or to achieve this so that it's uh, so that you can actually fit that hex nut, hex nut over there okay you will want to add the uh, zip tie slots over here like on the uh, like on those faces over here those two those are just two circles extruded from a plane um, the color is bad the color is really important it won't work in blue it has to be this gray um, and then you go ham with chamfers to make it look like a like a proper eva so let's do this and let's add another one this one will be too big yeah maybe like that this guy free yeah let's just say we have another nova mount it will work probably at this point but badly um, oh yeah and you need this support piece as well it is a short one so it probably won't benefit much over here won't wiggle around that much and it's going to be super hard to make a printable support piece for Nova over here but yeah but I'm talking about those support pieces over here which tend to be quite the hassle to make like this two-part um, copperhead one or the yeah v6 one have everything done and then you need to slap uh, this thing over here and those are never at the same heat sinks are never on the same uh, plane in z uh, so it's getting difficult from horrent to horrent face all let's see mosquito yeah that was already a weird one and now i guess it's even higher than mosquito dragon dragon is probably using the v6 one because it's so compatible copperhead yeah that one was also high heat blocks tend to be bigger and bigger now yeah let me know if you want to talk about it meet about it me explain explain more if it was helpful or not we're obviously missing a lot of things the biggest one is this whole face over here which is not only ugly but also super inefficient um, yeah I made I was hasty over here and I don't like this extrusion would usually fix that not allow it to project from the fan lines over here um, those screw holes needs to be fixed because you would have need to have super long M M2 and a half screws over here. Let's quickly try and add that. Two and a half have a head of I don't know how much. Let's do 5.2 just for now. And then you extrude both ways to get rid of that and now we can say that we need a hole that is a screw that is 16 and this depends on 
uh, what Nova provides when you buy it. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how long those need to be. Okay, I'm gonna upload this right now and you guys tell me if it's useful in any way or not. I hope at least the first part of it will be useful to um, help yourself with the, all that context uh, stuff that you can do to put an assembly over here and um, you know mate everything to know at least have a starting point then we can attach this to this and yeah then we have a full part well you know full part wink wink okay i'll stop talking now again let me know if this was useful don't tell me if it was not. Maybe for the free people that were interested, it's going to be useful. Um, and yeah, if you if you want me, we can even uh, you know make some uh, organize some sessions and meet for like a half an hour. I'm stuck. How would you address that? I would be honored to try and help. So um, let me know. See you later. Bye.